Um, but you can imagine I have a lot of questions. So um, I'd love to begin with you, firstly, just because I, I read that you started out in advertising and now you run a wellness business. The first thing we need to look at is the letter H, so the sound at the beginning. It depends what country you're from, but many native languages have a problem with um, putting too much tightness in the throat and it can become more of a H sound. So it's very important not to over exaggerate this sound. It's a very soft, very relaxed sound in English. So just softly release the sound H help. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second sound is an E sound, like in my name, Elliot. The tongue is in the middle of the mouth we're slightly smiling, and that's because the tongue is at the front of the mouth. Okay, when the tongue comes to the front of the mouth, the lips will spread slightly. Look at my face, my tongue is in the middle area of my mouth, at the front. Eh. Eh. He. He. Now this is where it starts to get difficult. We have the dark L. So in English we have the light L. L. My tip number three kind of contradicts my tip number four because it's about challenging yourself with something you're not quite familiar with. For example, I really like yoga, for example, and I like listening to everything about yoga, you know, like creating books about yoga, things like that. But one day I'm like, hey, I think I should listen to something about space you know about the planets about our planet earth it's completely different but again i am interested in this this is the most important thing it can be different you know usually you like listening something about cars or about technology or about money but just one day you decided to listen to something about food for example it's just a good challenge you know listen to something completely different from what you're used to and actually this is where so you know sometimes nothing happens and sometimes everything happens all at once and you just gotta deal with it and it's also just strange to both be extremely worried about different things and have your anxiety levels like peak to the highest they've ever been and then also be extremely happy and grateful that you were able to buy an apartment, you know? It's all these conflicting emotions. They had their way with me. <laughs> Let's just say I had so many opportunities to practice what I preach. So I tried my best to take good care of myself. I tried my best to stay mindful, to meditate, um, just really listening and responding to what I needed. And I do believe that having a practice like that really does help. And then fun little addition to that as well is that we had four days together, my boyfriend and I, in Madrid. Um, we booked it like, um, I don't know when we did that, like maybe December. If you plan to go for a run and you don't have enough time to do a full run, do part of a run. If you plan to go to the gym today, but you don't have the full hour that you normally work out, do some push-ups, run up and down the stairs, go out. Now on to the podcast that I recommend for older kids. The reason I recommend these for older kids is because the content might not be appropriate for younger kids. And these podcasts can really be used in a more academic way once your children can independently write on their own or read on their own or just think a little more critically. The first one I will mention is called Myths and Legends. Now. I made the mistake of listening to this with my six-year-old. It wasn't a complete disaster, but Myths and Legends is basically just tells in depth the stories about popular myths and legends. So the backstories that you might not actually know. For example, Maui from Moana has this whole backstory that I never heard of. So I put on this podcast episode and I'm like, oh, this will be about the Disney movie. This will be great. And it turns out he was like abandoned by his mother. Um, everyone's trying to kill him. <laughs> it just got really intense. Have you ever had, maybe you're in that place right now where you want to turn your life around and you know somewhere deep in your soul there could be some decisions that you have to make. Like, you know, like it's like things, something was decided for you. And instead of trying to make something that is done work, it's like the invitation is to make the decision, commit to that, and to start creating what comes next. But here's the thing when we say no to something, we're saying yes to something else. 
but that involves a lot of unknown. And that is scary. I have many videos as to why that is scary. Actually, you can check one out right here. But the unknown is scary. And so we, we're doing the best we can with, it, with like what is available. And if you want to turn your life around, I, I want to share a couple things. One, it's okay to choose again. It's okay to want something different for yourself. It's okay.